Welcome back to the channel. So today, so I'm going to be carrying on where I left off in the last video, where I was messing with the engine, taking it all apart. And now we've got it all apart. I'm hoping to get done today is um, clean up this block, get rid of all the flaky rust. You can see we got all the it's a bit flaky looking and a bit dirty looking. So what I want to do, uh, so today I want to try and get this um, the rust taken care of on here. Uh, just clean up the whole piece, get rid of any oil and uh, I want to make sure I want to get this block here painted today as well. So I want to clear off all the rust, flaky rust, and then I want to paint it with some VHT wrinkle. Possibly clean up some other pieces that I have lying about uh, for the engine. Finished uh, getting the rust off and then I just uh, degreased it with some degreaser and now it's just a little bit wet but it's fine. Uh, so what I'm going to do now is you can see I've got most of the flaky rust off, there's still a bit of rust left so to get rid of that I'm going to be using this, this DOX gel, it's basically the same as the DOXC which is just uh, put you put the stuff into a bucket with this, removes the rust but since you can't put the, or since the block's too big, can't like submerge that of course. We're going to be using this gel form, so basically you just put it on. So you just uh, put the gel on here, and then you just let it sit for a while, and then it starts eating away the rust. finished uh, putting on that DUX gel you can see we've got it on here it's gonna sit there for a while till it um, corrodes all the rust off you can see it's so I put a decent amount on and it's all covered this has now has to sit there and let it do its work so it says it could take from 30 to uh, 30 to 120 minutes but then it says if it's hard harder rust I guess a lot more rust then it could take up to like 12 hours or something like that but I think uh, it's only surface rust here and we got a lot off with the wire brushes so it shouldn't take too long. So we're just going to let that sit for now and then we're just going to move on to something else. So what I'm going to be now doing now is just other parts that came off the uh, that came off in. So we got the pulley, the crank pulleys and uh, whatever this is, I don't actually know. Uh, the, the water pump, uh, water pump pulley. So we got the crank pulley, water pump pulley, and then some brackets, and then we got some bolts as well here that we want to clean up. I'm going to be using this uh, DOXC stuff, which is similar to the gel. I've got a bucket here, so it's basically the same as the gel, except it's powder form, which will then dissolve into water, which we're going to put, be putting into this bucket. So we fill up the solution, uh, water, and mix it with this. Uh, we're then going to submerge these pieces in before we actually put this, submerge this into the water or the solution we're just going to get rid of all the flaky rust because that will then help it make it easier for the solution to get rid of all the other rust pieces got as much rust as I could off with the, with the wire brushes so now they're complete they are ready to go into the solution Just to mix it up as well, spin two because so everything is, is, is in the solution. 
so you can see if it's kind of bubbling it means it's working I don't know if you can tell but you can see little bubbles there and it looks like it's going to be doing its job with all the bubbles that means you know it's working okay so while that's uh, doing its thing I'm just gonna let leave it be I can't actually do anything more with the MX-5 I'm actually gonna do something on the Civic I ended up buying a new spoiler for the Civic it's a carbon fiber spoon spoiler and uh, it just needs some work. I got it cheap, but it does need some work, so I'm actually gonna fix that up. So it's in the, in the box. I'll just go ahead and unwrap it and move this stuff out, and I'll put the uh, spoon up, the spoiler up here. Right, so I got it up here. Uh, it's so it's real carbon, I guess, but I guess it's uh, obviously a replica. You can see it's not it's not perfect. There's a lot of scuffs on it, so we want to fix that up. And there is also some uh, cracks like down here. You can see where it's uh, splitting. Which what we need, so it's splitting there, and we need to fix that up. So what I'm going to do for, with that is I'm just going to go ahead sand the whole thing down use some probably like 300 grit paper sandpaper and then that will get rid of all the like uh, scuffs up here and then once it's sanded I'm going to then re-epoxy it all and then I'll epoxy all the all the little splits uh, so wherever it has split so then it becomes one piece again not that much work so just got to sand it all down and then uh, fix the little edges and there's a few chips I just want to fill in. Doesn't really matter because the main top part is still clean with carbon. Uh, just a few scratches. It's mostly on the sides that here that's going to be a bit messy, but you won't really notice that when it's on. here it's all split just so I'm just gonna sort that out with some epoxy resin and uh, basically weld it together opened up the gap so now I can actually just fill it in with the uh, epoxy resin and then close and then close it and then it will seal it together and I mixed up the epoxy. I did add a little bit of a, a black tint to it just so it will because um, some parts here of the carbon is missing so if I tinted it black it's just going to blend in a lot nicer and make it look and it won't be as noticeable these uh, this area. shut and then put some tape to hold it closed while it um, dries so while, while it dries 
So I've done both sides as well. So I'm just gonna let that sit for a couple of hours and then I will probably come back out and just check over it and give maybe a second coat. On. So I just taped it off there. Uh, just to save me whenever I put the new resin on. I don't have to sand as much. I can just peel off the tape while it's drying and then uh, I won't have to sand as much as I did last time. I'm round, I've just put the tape on all the areas that need done. So I'm just going to go ahead, mix up the epoxy resin and then fill in these gaps. It's, it's kind of hard to show it, but well, you can see a bit of chip there. I'll put it in, so I'm going to fill that up. And then here where the seam is, it's sealed now. It doesn't split open, but there's still like a little bit of um, uh, indent in it. So I want to fill them up to make it nice and smooth. So I'm just going to go ahead and mix up the mixture and then I'll just start putting it all on. The epoxy is dried now so I'm just going to, I already took the tape off as you can see. All the cracks are now gone, so it's not split and it's all one piece. So now that's done, I'm actually just gonna sand it down smooth so there's no uh, edges like from the, the paint mark or the, so there's no uh, indents from where the tape was. So get that all smooth and then smooth out the whole, the whole top of it. And then I'm gonna go and clear coat it once everything's nice and smooth and then we should have a nice finish. So just gonna go ahead, use some probably like 400 grit paper and sand it down so it's all smooth so we get all this kind of finish rather than these indents. Sanding is done. Um, I didn't video most of it because I've already done loads of sanding and it'll probably get boring. Uh, so that's done. I ended up going from 140 grit to around, I think it was 400 or 600 grit at the end. Now it's all smooth and all the edges are flat now from where I sealed up where it was cracked. I was gonna epoxy resin it, or yeah, use some epoxy resin, but it's taken way too long to dry. It's too cold in here for it to really proper, properly cure. So I'm just gonna go and uh, use some do some clear coat 2K clear, and hopefully that will uh, will cure properly. I'll probably warm it up a bit. clear coat's dry so the spoiler's pretty much done and it came out all right There's, it could probably do with a nice wet sand and a buff up but for now i'm just going to leave it as is so uh it should be fine it's just hard enough now anyway because it's been a day it's hard enough to put on the car so i'm going to go ahead and uh, fit it to the car and swap out my old spoiler to this one so before i put the boiler on i'm just going to go ahead clean the car up um, then I can put it on to a nice clean car. Mm -hmm. 